Martin Gomez, principal at Santee Education Complex and partner with College Bridge. Okay. So the SLAM project came from uh, an initial meeting with Dr. Uh, Lynn and Dr. Pedro Ceballos with regards to an LAUSD initiative of principal for a day. So they came to our campus, uh, they asked me what were some of the challenges at Santee, what were some of the successes? And uh, we began talking about uh, some, of the uh, some of the challenges that we faced in our math department. Uh, I talked to them about the difficulties that Santee Education Complex had gone through. Uh, and being my first year as a principal, I, I tried to, to, to tell them this is what we needed support on. We decided to focus on supporting Santee's math program. Uh, in the last seven years, uh, Santee has had zero students pass uh, the AP Calculus test, except for um, the, except for last year. And I wanted to make sure that, that we change the culture uh, with our students and with our staff with regards to our students being college ready for math and, and also just, ha just having the, the, the determination that they can be successful in the AP or college level math class. Uh, informed me of, of a possible partnership with Cal State LA uh, around the entry level statistics class. Uh, as a math teacher, I, I know the challenges that students face when they go to college uh, and they have difficulties in math. So uh, we, we created a, a plan. Uh, we, we met the, a professor that was open and willing. Uh, we, we talked to the, 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 the team from Cal State LA. Uh, we also talked with LAUSD and the partnership. Um, and then we, we, we found a teacher that was, was open at Santee. And after all that initial hard work, uh, we created the SLAM project. You know, after, after those conversations, we decided on how to choose the 30 students. We were very strategic. We didn't want our 4.0 kids. We, didn't, we weren't looking at our 1.5 kids. We were essentially looking for students that were interested in going to four-year uh, Cal State LA colleges. And uh, we chose those students that were not primarily focused on the sciences. So uh, through all those conversations, uh, the SLAM project began. And the SLAM project was very successful uh, for its first year. It was a lot of work actually, but uh, the partner with College Bridge uh, did most of the heavy lifting and uh, we did a great job of working together to, to make it happen. Uh, and it ended up being a great success for this year. The, the first advice that I would offer the school or high school is to make sure that when they work with the college professor and the college student and you know developing the MOU that all of the, the background work uh, is done uh, the previous year the professor and the, and the LAUSD teacher can work uh, over the summer uh, with regards to the plan with regards to the hours with regards to uh, uh, percentages and syllabus uh, so that way once the school year starts uh, they start off on the same foot I, I think uh, out of all all the challenges that we faced that was probably one of the uh, bigger ones to overcome uh, but even with, with those, those setbacks, we still had a higher uh, uh, percentage of our kids passing because you want to make sure that that summer uh, is, is used to, to uh, contact the students that are in the program, make sure that they have uh, some summer work. Uh, you want to make sure that the college professor and the college teacher have time to, to get together and work uh, around their syllabus, work around their grading policy, uh, any... Uh, uh, team teaching strategies. Uh, if they want to go, if they if they're looking to receive some PD, make sure that they do that over the summer uh, to make sure that they reach out and they make the professor feel welcome. A lot of the times, uh, they're just, they they can be treated as a sub or 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 just uh, a person that's not really part of the staff, and essentially they are. Uh, make sure that the college bridge is, feels like they're, they're part of the community because essentially uh, they're, they're we're working together to prepare. Uh, 30 of our kids next year, 60, we want to continue to expand. Uh, but uh, it's important that they feel part of the community because they need to know what's going on with their school. And they need, they need to know the, the, the successes or the hard truths of the program as well. So if something's not working, uh, the, the professor and college bridge need to know what's going on uh, in order to fix it. But at the same time, there's so many components that if one falls, uh, it can easily uh, fall, fall apart. And that's why it's important to have a, a strong partner. Uh, to, to put both of them together. Uh, from my experience, it's been nothing but positive uh, experiences, whether, they're, whether they've been uh, good uh, experiences or challenging experiences, they, they've always been 
uh, they've always we've always worked around them in a positive manner. N number one and the most important is the fact that uh, we had 76% of our students uh, pass the entry level Cal State LA uh, statistics exam. Uh, that's very important because uh, it surpassed the the freshman um, entry level passing rate. So it, it basically proved our point that that uh, students in the inner city uh, are capable of passing uh, entry-level math courses as, as long as they have the right support, the right structures, and the right teachers supporting them. The College Bridge has adopted our students. They have worked with our students for not only the stats, but also with SATs, with, with making sure that the financial aid forms are, are filled out, uh, taking a, an, an active ownership of, of working with our students, uh, and uh, also of making sure that nothing slips through the cracks. It was a success because it showed our students that they are capable of being successful at the college level if they put in the work levels, if they're willing to uh, study like a college student does, uh, and if they're willing to, to put in the hours uh, necessary to come in for the extra tutoring. Uh, showing our staff that our students are capable of being successful at, in, in upper level math classes. Uh, bef before SLAM came around, um, we had the last, the previous six years, we had zero students pass AP Calculus. Um, so that was one of my folk, uh, foci for this year. And uh, as a result, we had two students pass AP Calculus, and we had 76% uh, students pass um, the SLAM uh, statistics course. And we only look at, at improving those numbers for, for our AP exams this year and the SLAM projects for next year as well. In, in the past, uh, our Santee students uh, they didn't have the, 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 the grit to continue moving forward and, and to not give up. Uh, and uh, with this program, uh, working with the math teacher and the math professor and the College Bridge advocates continually motivating our students, it taught them that if they stick with it, uh, they will be successful and 76% of the students were successful. So it was a great uh, success for, for our school and our students. Uh, College Bridge definitely uh, uh, gave us a boost of energy and a boost of, of new uh, motivation for our staff. So that was a great, great success as well. The Education Complex serves about uh, 1,750 students. Uh, currently, we're 94% uh, Latino, 6% African American, and 100% uh, free and reduced lunch. Also, uh, we're the largest uh, comprehensive high school uh, closest to Skid Row. The community uh, is, is very migrant, a, a lot of uh, a transiency with, with, with our students and our parents. You know, in the, in the last month, uh, for example, uh, we've had uh, more than 60 students check in, check out, uh, and it becomes it becomes taxing on the office staff. It becomes that taxing on the administrative staff. Um, that was one of the challenges that we had uh, when we were choosing our, our our 30 students because we wanted to make sure that it was 30 students that were not going to be moving anywhere. And 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 knowing our our kids, it was hard to say for sure that they were not moving, but. Luckily, I, I think we, we got very lucky with our with our students, uh, but we know that we know that that's the the population that we serve, and that's why uh, these partnerships uh, with the colleges with College Bridge are even more important. So I would uh, definitely uh, have the naysayers come visit Santee to, to see what's going on. Again, uh, I, I want to reiterate the fact that our black and brown students. Uh, surpassed the passing rates for college freshmen at Cal State LA for this uh, statistics exam. That the community at Santee, the community of South Central LA are making this happen. And uh, with the support of College Bridge, with the support of the partnership for LA schools, uh, with the support of LAUSD, and with the support of, of the Santee staff, we're making this happen and, and it's very exciting. We've increased the number of students enrolled in AP classes, and we've increased the number of, of AP exams um, coming out of Santee. So just for, for the naysayers or, or the, 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 the staff members that may have doubts, because um, you know, um, originally we did have doubts about uh, you know, how many of our students would pass the exam. It's, it's exciting to see inner city kids, uh, black and brown inner city students, uh, receiving a college ed education with AP exams with SLAM here at Santee. And I know that it's difficult for them, but we're doing a better job of preparing them uh, for their college and career.
and, and just showing them the data, showing them that kids can be successful, and it's happened at Santee. And, and, and I can assure you that if it's happening at Santee, in South Central, close to Skid Row, 100% free and reduced lunch, 100% black and brown students, that it can happen at any school.